Good morning, my beloved students. This is teacher Mustafa. Today is a great Sunday, uh, the beginning of the week, where you're all energetic and happy to be back together. I have my beloved class here, 5C, and today we're going to have some spelling words with Greek roots. Bilal, what do you know about Greek roots? They are ancient English and that's about it. I don't know anything else. You don't know about green roots? Uh, sorry, Greek I'm roots. I'm not Latin or Greek. I don't speak those languages. Yes, so can you please read the word that I sent in the chat? What is it? Okay, so Bilal is not here anymore. Okay. So, uh, information. Sorry, I accidentally like I I left it on temporary. So when I yes. The chat. Okay. So. And the second one. Ecology. What? E ecology. ecology. Yes. What I is... know what the meaning. The third what? one. Chronological. Yes, like, chronological. So all of these information, all of these words, have a suffix, right? And a prefix, do you yeah. think? Yep, they do. So the word information, what is the suffix there? Uh, in, in information? Yes. Let me just put it on the screen so that everyone can see. Is it the T-I-O-N? Very good, the T-I-O-N, very good. I what totally about ecology? Ecology, it's like... How, what do you think? I think it's like the Y or something. It's the L-O-G-Y, but okay. And chronological? Chronological. Huh. Uh, the I-K, uh, I-C-A-L. Uh, is it logical or chrono? Chrono. Yes. Now let's find out what are the Greek roots and what Mr. do they do to the word? Now, I need to ask you something else. Yusuf Yusri. Yusuf Yusri. Hello, mister. What is the difference between the two words? Um, this uh, inform yes. information. Yes, what is the difference? Inform is a yes. verb or a noun? No. Inform. So I inform my friend. That means I tell him. So inform yes. is a verb or a noun? Verb. Verb. Very good. So inform is a verb. But when I added the shan at the end, it became a what? A noun. A noun. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. So does the Greek roots change the spinning? Uh, sorry, change. The composition of the word. Change the word itself. Yes. Great. Very good. So the Greek roots and the Latin roots, of course, they change the meaning of the word. So let's go here. As you can see on the right, Mu'ad. Hello. Can you please read the root and the meaning, please? Okay. Uh, root, uh, corn, so cron, cron, uh, root meaning time. Yes, Meter. very good. Root meaning measure. Very good. Uh, photo, light, light, bio, life, life, geo, earth. Yes, uh, logic. Logi, study of. Study of. So, Muad, here I have a question for you. Uh, no, I don't. But I, I want to say something. Be just before you say it. So, can you please tell me what does that mean? Ecology. Uh, yes. Ecology means. Huh. Uh, Logi alone means what? A logic means study of. Yeah, study of. And echo stands for what? Echo. Yes. Echo is. Huh? 
the the ecosystem i know uh ecosystem uh, yes okay. the ecosystem we will we will come to that later but here i have another one um uh, now this one can you please translate it to me can you please make me understand it okay geo means uh, geo means earth and logi means uh, study of so that means what so does uh, it mean study of earth study, study of, of earth. earth very good study of earth muhammad magdi what about this one Hmm. What about the next one? Uh, biology, it's um, <clears throat> study of uh, study of study of what? Of science, I think. Of science? Are you sure? Look at the PowerPoint. Look at the screen. Study of light. Very good. Very good. So bio. Is the study of life very good? Um, Moad, you had something that you want to say? Yes. Huh? I what was it? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not Moad. I'm great grandpa Moad. Okay. So, allow me to get Hamza. Hi. What about this word? Speed or mirror? Yes. Uh, measurement of speed. Amazing. Very good, guys. Measure. Very good. So you have this clue here. You have this clue here. You will need it for the upcoming words. Okay? And the words today are very fun. You will, I'm, I'm sure that you will understand it fast because you're brilliant, actually. Okay? Um, okay. Let's go to the next one. I need, yes, here. I need Muhammad Walid. Hello, Mr. Hello, Muhammad. What can you see here? Oh, the wait, I entered it. What? What can you see here? What is that? Uh, a photo uh, uh, in it, a sun yeah. and a cloud. Yeah, what does that represent? What does that represent? Raining. That represents the, the weather. Very good, very, very the good. So what's another word for the weather? Uh, huh. mm. Let me give you a hint. It has the word logi, logi. Huh. Another word for the weather is metro meteorology. Very good. Very, very good. Everyone Met repeat after me. Meteorology. Metro meteorology. 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 Very good. Last time. Meteorology. Meteorology. Metriology. Very good. Metriology. Now, Muhammad, this word, is it a noun or a verb? Muhammad? Uh, a noun, actually. A noun, very good. Now, logi means what? Uh, a study of. Study of, and metrio? Uh, weather. Weather, so the meaning is? Uh, study of water. Very good. Very, very good. Can you read the, the, can you read it please? So to make it short, it is also the study of weather. You're great, Muhammad. Very, very good. Now, how many syllables are there? Oh, I always... There are a lot. I'll give you a hint. They are a lot. Okay. Huh? How many are there? Muhammad, can you hear me? Uh, uh, 
Mr. How we count? How we, we count? You count it when you say met, ro, yo, lo, g. Met, yo, lo, met, yo, lo, lo, g. How okay. many? Huh? Met, yo, lo, lo, g. Four. Four. Are you sure? This word has six syllables. Oh my God. Yes. Can you see six here? Syllables. Yes. Me, te, or, o, lo, g. Can you say it? How can you divide it? Me, te, or, ro, lo, g. So it has six syllables. Yes. I always make wrong with that. Yes, I know. But we will learn how to divide into syllables. Don't worry about it, okay? Uh, okay. Great, 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 Muhammad. Thank you very much for your help today. You're welcome. Church. Okay, so the stress syllable, guys, is all. And the second stress syllable is me. And we pronounce it met, year, roll, a, g. Metriology. Okay. Um, let's go here. Ahmed Sibai, are you here? My name is Hamza Ahmed, but I am uh, okay, Hamza. Account. Okay, so what can you see in the picture? Uh, someone puts words to copy. Yes. What is this called? What is the process called? <sighs> Painting. Huh. Uh, 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 painting? Really? What is this uh, machine? What is this machine? What is it called? Uh, uh, it's called a uh, painter. It's a painter. No, it's not a painter. It's something else. Huh. Uh, Huh? I did a painter. Huh? Do you remember two years ago the teacher sent you to do what with the paper? To paint it. To paint it, really? To paint it or to photocopy it? Oh. Yes? Photocopy. Very good. Okay. Now, do you think photocopy? Repeat after me photocopy. 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 Now, photocopy, do you think, is it a verb or a noun? Uh, 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 noun. Is it? Really? Let's see. Very good. It's a noun. And what does it mean? Uh, to, uh, to, uh, to copy a photo. Not just a photo. To copy almost any paper. Okay? Okay. Yes, a photographic copy of a printed or written material, right? But can it work as a verb also? Can I say uh, I yeah. photocopy the papers? Yeah. Um, yes. Yes, very yes. good. You said yes. Great. It can also work as a verb is to make a photocopy of. Now, how many syllables are there, Hamza? Uh, four. Oh, oh, two, copy, uh, four, oh, two, copy, five. Five syllables? No. How uh, many are there? Four. Four syllables. Can you see it? Four, two, copy. Got it? Yeah. Great, Hamza, great. And the stressed syllable is, sorry, how to pronounce this? Fo, to, fo, copy. Fo. Yes, great. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hamza. Thank you very much for that. Salman. Hi, teacher. Hello, Salman. What can you see in the picture? I am seeing... Uh...
Huh? Um, see, a cow, a cows. Some cow. And fishes. Fish, very good. And water. Water. And houses. Yes. And peoples. People. Yes. What else? Huh? And cactus. Cactus. Okay. So are they do are all of the are all of these things interact together? Yes. Yes. So what do we call this? Huh? What do we call this? They are interacting together, right? What do we call it? Huh? We know. call it ecology. 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 No, ecology. Ecology. No, not eco. Ecology. Ecology. Very good. Repeat after me. Ecology. 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 Very not O. It's not O. It's A. Uh, you know, ecology. Eco, eco, eco. Very good. Great, great, great. Now, ecology. Is it a noun or a verb? Ecology. Huh? What do you think? A noun or a verb? Noun. Noun. Great. Very good. Now, what does it mean? Logi means what? Logi. Yes. Hmm. Try to remember. Logic means what? Who knows? Can you answer in the chat? Huh? Logic means very good, very, very good, Muhammad. Logic means the study of the study. Salman. What? Yes. Logi means the study? Of. Of. Very good. The study of what? What did we say here? The what? Attack. The what? I don't remember. You don't remember. Okay. So it is the study of relations of organisms. The relations of, of organisms. Okay. Organism. How many how many syllables are in ecology? How many? Yes. Three. Three. Let's find out. No, they are not three. They are E, K, O, G. How many are there? Four e, syllables. O, E, G. Very good. There are four syllables. And this is how to pronounce it. E, K, L, G. Ecology. Ecology. Not eco. Ecology. No, not eco. Ecology. 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 Yes. Ecology. Very good. Great. Thank you very much, Salman. Muhammad Ahmad. Hi, Mr. Hi. Like. What do you call those? A picture of uh, squares. And, yes. Uh, where do you study? Where do you find those shapes? In math. In math. Which part of the math? Uh, part of the math. Huh? Which part of the math? Algebra or geometry? Algebra. Oh, oh. Geometry. Very good. It is in geometry. Very good. It's in geometry. So our word is, can you read it? Uh, geometry. 
What is it? Read carefully. Repeat after, repeat after me. Geometric. 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 So, geometric. Very good, geometric. Amazing. Now, do you think, is it a noun or a verb or an adjective? Adjective. Is it an adjective? Are you sure? Is yeah. What? Noun. A noun. Very good. So what does it mean? Metric means what? Means. Hmm. Huh? The study of geometry. Yes, it is the study of geometry. How many yeah. syllables are there? Yeah. Hmm? Sure. Six. Six? How is that? Four. How many are there? Four. Yes. Can you divide them? G yo met rec. Very good. The stress syllable is met, and the second stress syllable is G. And how do you pronounce it? G geometric. Geometric. Very good. Great, great, great. Thank you very much for that, Muhammad. Rakan. Yes, hello. Hello, Rakan. Now, this is something. This is something. Um, the picture, you will know it from the picture. What is it? Recycling. It's something, you know, with computers. Like, like look at me here, Rakan. I will send a Download. message from my phone. Okay, I will send a message from my phone. Yeah. This message will also be sent from, um, no, for example, someone sent me an email. So I can view the email on my phone or my laptop. So this is called what? Files? Yes, huh? when you can view two files in the same place, like on the drive and on your computer. On the cloud and on your computer or your phone. Accounts? Yes, huh? There's something about it, huh? When you save a contact and then you format your phone and then you get your contacts from the cloud. So this is called what? Huh? It's called synchronize. What is it called? Synchronize. Again, synchronize. 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 Very good. Synchronize. Synchronize. Very good. Synchronize. This circuit synchronize. Uh, oh wait. I got it wrong. Synchronize this word. Is it a verb or a noun? Uh, hmm. I synchronize. I'll give you a I synchronize my files. No. Really? I synchronize. So I is a pronoun. Synchronize yeah, is yeah. a verb. Very yeah. good. Now, synchronize, what does it mean? Synchronize. Like keeping your data in two different places, Rakan. Get it? This is how to yeah. synchronize. Like, for example, you have a phone, right? Yeah. Yes. So, you, and you know the drive, right? Yes. So, you can synchronize your important files to your drive or your contacts to the drive. 
so that when your phone is formatted, you can find your contact somewhere else. Got it? Yeah. Yes, great. So this is synchronized. Occur at the same time. They occur at the same time. Time. That means that you, you know, it happens at the same time. It happens at the same time. time. Now, how many syllables are there? Sin. Sin. Five. Five? No. You said it true. Sin. Then what? Crow. Crow. Nice. Run. Sin. Crow. Crow. Nice. Nice. Very good. The stress syllable is sin, and in order to say it's synchronized. Great. Thank you very much for that, Rakan. Yeah, Amin? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Read the word, please. Furniture. Read again. Parameter. Parameter. Repeat after me. Parameter. 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 Very good. Now, this word, is it a noun or a verb? Noun. Noun. Very good. It is a noun. What does it mean? It means... Oh, 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 oh. Stop. It means what? A limit. A limit. Very limit good. of bonding. Yes. Let me... I'll tell you now. I'll tell you. Here. Wait, let me just get a bigger one. Let's, let me let me get a bigger one. Let me get a bigger one. Here, yes, this will be. Guys. Okay. So here, in order to know the parameter. Sheila. Sheila. In order to know the parameter, okay, it is related to math. It is related to math. The parameter is the outside of a shape, okay? The outside of a shape. This is the parameter, okay? So when we say meter, meter is a shortcut for what? Huh? Yamin. Yeah, Yes. Meter. Meter is the Greek root for what? Is the huh? Greek root of major. Major. Very good. So it's the major of the what? Meter. The boundaries or the limits. Got it? And it's related to math. For example, um, let me teach you some math. If this was like uh, seven centimeters and this was like uh, six centimeters and uh, so you multiply six uh, by seven and you get the parameter. So the parameter is equal six, six by seven equals 42. Do I make a, a good math teacher, eh? Yes. Okay, so this is the parameter. The parameter is the outside of a shape. Okay? Yeah. This is it. The boundary of it or the outside shape. You know, it's the space of it. So we measure it and it's related to math. And for more info, visit your math teacher and tell him, Mr. Mr. What's a parameter? So he will answer you with that. Okay? So this is the parameter. This is? The parameter. the parameter, very good. What's in the shape or, you know, the boundaries of the shape, which means um, the lines of the shape. Um, let's Mr. clear all of that. Uh, 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 yes. I, did, I didn't understand the boundary. Well. The boundary, the boundary is the limit or the line. Like, for example, here, just let me get, uh, let me annotate it again. 
up here. Now, wait, no, I don't need, um, yes, I need this one. So where does this cube start? It starts here, right? Yeah. So where is its limit or its boundary? Here. Here. And where is other limit or other boundary? Here. Yeah. Yes. So this is the limit or the boundary, OK? The confined space. Got it? Uh, so can I yeah. say that the boundary, that the boundary of this cube is here? No. No, it's where? Inside. It's see. here. Yes, very good. If this was a farm, if this was a farm, can I put my sheep in here? No. No, they can't exit the boundary. Got it? Or the limit. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Great. So this parameter has how many syllables, Yamin? Uh, four. Very good. It has four syllables. Pa, ram, mi, t. Very good. And the stress syllable is the ram parameter. Very good. Great, great, great. So last word. Yes, last word. Omar Ahmed. I parameter. Okay, so let's go back to it. We will not complete this word. Wait. Here. Yes. Parameter. Parameter is related to math. Okay, guys? So that's number one thing that you have to understand. The parameter is something related to math. It has to do with the calculation of shapes. Okay? Okay? Okay. Yes, very good. As for the limit or the boundary, this is the limit or the boundary. Okay? the max that the, can, the shape can go, or the end of the shape. Got it? As for math also. Okay? Okay? Okay. I didn't get any answer. So do you now understand what's the parameter? Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's a measurement of a? Math. Shape. Math. Yes, it's related to math. It's the measurement of a shape. So we only have one minute. So I'll be back in five minutes for the next period. Have fun, guys. And we'll okay. start again in five minutes. See you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.